Hello, veteran 0121 here. Welcome back. This is another episode of Dragon Quest XI. In the last episode, we defeated Avarith. We got Silvano to join us again and leave his band of weirdos behind uh, with his dad, Don Rodrigo. And now we're going to set off to find more of our companions. Sometimes this game loads really fucking slow. Holy shit. <laughs> and then other times, it's fine. In fact, it's too fine. Sometimes it loads too fast. I like reading those fucking, uh... Those, uh, what do they call those in the loading screen? Those, uh, those, those lore bits. Whatever they're called. I don't know, they, they could be demons. Sometimes demons like to use treachery. But nah, these guys aren't demons. They're just really weird. <laughs> yeah, apparently this guy... Yeah, apparently this guy drinks too much. <laughs> oh yeah, and thanks to Harriot Linea for actually um, pointing out that if you say yes to the queue, I, I guess you automatically end up in the casino at night? I guess maybe I should have learned that by checking it out and trying, but I don't know. I, I, I don't know. It's not that I hate the casinos and Dragon Quest games. It's just that I'd rather not bother with them. <laughs> it's monotonous. I mean, so is farming seeds. But I haven't done that in Dragon Quest games before. Not until this game. So it's not that old yet. Now gambling? That sh I don't care if they got new games. That shit's fucking old. Anyways, yeah, all our quest people are back. Speaking of which... Oh wait, I already got that quest. Eh, whatever. Yeah, whatever. I'm done screwing around in Prith of Allure. Let's, uh... Let's hit the sea, man. Oh, the dance show on the beach! Great, they're bringing it back. So yeah, that girl that was uh, on the beach before that was all depressed, I think she was the dancing girl, wasn't she? Yeah, and Alberto and, and Hendrik. Together again! There's actually going to be some interesting pep powers later on in the game with uh, Silvano and Hendrik. So pep powers I really didn't delve into too much. Uh, but they're cool. They're like tanking, basically. They're like tanking pep powers. I don't think they're really necessary, but they're cool. I mean, it's cool that they're in the game. Alright, so let's head to that ship. And hit the sea. Now, I actually 
have never done this before while playing this game, but apparently you can actually sail your ship towards the outer sea and get a party member fairly early. However, getting him early is kind of pointless because, I don't know, he doesn't have any skills. He's essentially worthless. But, uh, I don't know, I guess we could get some extra party talk dialogue. I've, again, I've never actually gotten him... Uh, before you're technically, I guess, supposed to get him. Because you're supposed to go to, like, Octagonia first, you know? And then once you get done with the story events there, then you're supposed to go to the Outer Sea. Uh, towards Sniffleheim. But, I'm gonna try going towards Sniffleheim right now, just see what happens. And then we'll head towards, uh, Gondolia. So, yeah, they're basically telling us that we need to go to Zwardrust to go rest at the inn to get some kind of fucking weird dream about where we're supposed to go after that. But yeah, let's not do that yet. Let's uh, take a little detour here. Yeah, man, we need our friends, because we need to do peps. We need to do pep powers, man. Oh, you know what? Old men of the sea. Uh... Dude, where are all my bunny tails, man? Jeez. Yeah, I, I'm going to equip these again. Probably should have done it off screen. Damn, man, where are all my bunny tails? Oh my god, I forgot to equip you. Damn. Mm. Yeah, roll with the magic vestment. Got to equip him too. Oh well. Old men of the sea defeated. Yeah, because if there's a there's a particular enemy, if we can actually go to the outer sea at this point, there's a particular enemy that I want to be able to get uh, falcon knife earrings from. Okay, thanks for the exact same encounter game. Way to be boring. But I could sell it. Hmm. Ha. Ha, ho. 
we've got the wind in our sails, darling. Not long now till we're through the strait. What? What the? Who's that rattling around in my cargo bay? Would you be a sweetie and go check? So this is interesting, man. Because I actually got a comment from Davis on my previous video saying that he's like, Hey man, you can go get Eric. But then if I read, if I read the walkthrough on fucking GameFAQs, like the best, the most detailed walkthrough they got on there, the guy that wrote that, wrote that fucking walkthrough says that at this point, Rab will actually tell you that you need to go to Zwardrust. Well, that hasn't happened yet. So, either he's thinking of a different point in the plot, or he's... Or something. Well, yeah, he's he's not right. Because he doesn't mention anything at all about being able to get Eric at this point in the story. Because, again, I haven't gone to fucking Dundersil yet. I haven't gone to Octagonia yet. I always thought that we couldn't get Eric until later on. Huh? Eric? Honey, is it really you? Kind of. <laughs> They're alive, laddie. I knew he would be. Oh, this is the best news we've had in a while. Yeah, uh, judging by his expression here, the lights are on, but nobody's home. You can say that again. It's wonderful to have you back, isn't it? I... I... I'm sorry. Hell, he even lost his, his, uh, his Brooklyn accent. What's up with that? I hadn't eaten anything for three days, and I saw you loading this boat with food, and and I just couldn't help myself. Um, are you okay, honey? Or at least I think it's Brooklyn. I don't know, I'm not from that state. Something is not right. Is this really your former companion? You... you said Eric, right? I, I'm pretty sure that's my name, but... Do I know you or something? Don't you remember us, laddie? You're all partners in crime. I, I'm sorry. I don't remember anything. I woke up and, and everything was dark and... I had no idea who I was. Or where... I remember my name, and I know there's something important I have to do. But apart from that... <sighs> Look, I know I have no right to ask you this, but... Could I tag along with you guys for a while? Hey, you don't know us, but we know you, of course, buddy. If you know who I am, it might help me to remember something. I promise I'll pay you back for the food I took. I'll swab the decks, clean the dishes, anything. Wow, man. You are totally out of character right now. No, no. There'll be no need for that, laddie. You stick with us. I'm sure your memory will be back soon enough. Yeah, man. Not only did he lose his memory, but he lost his personality, too. What do you say, darling? Shall we forgive our little stowaway and welcome him back with open arms? Well, yeah. Thank you so much. I promise I won't get in your way. You won't regret this. Like I said, the lights are on, but nobody's home. I mean, look at his face right now. He's lost his memory and got some manners. I wish Veronica were here to see this. She'd die. Yeah. Totally. Speaking of, yeah, I won't say anything. Anyway, listen up, laddie. A word, if you please.
Well, Jade, yeah, I mean... I mean, she kicked the shit out of Eric in the arena, man. You weren't there to see that, but... That was quite the display. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Can we go here? Yeah, I think we add this to our zoom list if we stop here, right? Hmm. Could go to Honolulu at this point, too. Okay, I had to take a little bit of a pause there to remind myself what fucking enemy has the uh, falcon knife earrings that I want. Uh, basically, we gotta sail to the north. Although, I don't want to go too close to that fucking, uh, that, that fucking, uh, Whatever that's that portal hole up there. What, what are they called? That shiny spot. Yeah, I don't remember what they're called. All right. Well, this is a good battle to show off pearly gates. Shit, yeah, but we can't. I, I forgot to mention that about Eric. Yeah, he's got all these skill points, but we can't allocate any of them. He's, yeah, he's essentially worthless. Uh, I think you can equip him with gear, and th maybe, but I'm not sure. A whole bunch of crap, huh? Can we equip you with gear? Oh yeah, I guess we can't give him any abilities anyway. So, yeah, I would, I would advise not using Eric at this point. But yeah, I'm gonna try. Basically, the enemy I want to run into is a what is it called again? A sail serpent. It's a sail serpent. That's the enemy I gotta run into here. Oh, snowgers. Fuck, man. Ah. Agility stat. Our triumph was never in doubt. Ho oh, ho! I'm better than ever! And Rav got the insulate spell. That's supposed to, uh, I think it decreases breath damage by 50%, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong on the percentage, but I'm thinking it's it's pretty significant. So yeah, Insulatal is the, uh, for Rab, I think that's the, uh, yeah, that's the all-party version. And it's, it's essentially the same thing as Insulate, except it's for the entire party. So it's not like, uh, for example, fucking, uh, what is it? Who's got it? Uh, it's not like... Accelerado, because Accelerate actually increases your agility by a higher percentage, despite the, I mean, yeah, it's for one character, but it's a higher percentage of agility increase, while Accelerado is a lower percentage increase, but it works for all party members, so yeah, it's a little confusing on how these 
buffs work, man. I mean, I wish, again, I like how the descriptions in game are better this time around, but still not enough information, man. I want specifics. I want, you know, fucking specific percentages. Yeah, whatever you do, do not go in there yet. Unless you want to, like, get killed. Oh, you know he's dead. I love Quad Slash. There we go. Hendrick finally got a level. He learns more heal. Which means I can give Hendrick. Holy Impregnable. This is going to be a pretty good skill later on. I'm thinking. Protect against annoying statuses like dancing and shit. Oh no, new pet power, kiss of death. Cool. Forgot what that does. <laughs> These fucking pet powers, man. I'll admit, that's the one thing in this game that I really have. I mean, a lot of the pet powers, I really have no idea what they do. There's a few, obviously the better ones, I know what they do. Like, uh... You know, Mighty Magic Burst. Hallelujah, obviously. You know, the better ones, obviously, I know about, but... Some of them, I, I just haven't used. Mainly because... I haven't really spent enough time in the post-game messing around with them. Before. Uh, but I think this time I'm going to spend a lot more time, because... I think it's going to be a lot easier to get gold this time around. And gold is very important in the post game. Because uh, you're going to need a lot of it to purchase pep pops. Or not pep pops, but um... Um... Oh no, pep pops. Yeah, I was thinking of pep pips. Which is the uh, single character version of that item. Come on, man, where are them sail serpents already? Quit fucking with me, game. This is what I hate about being on the fucking ocean, is it's random. I hate random encounters. I'm spoiled by the rest of this game. No! Don't give me otter shambles! Fuck you. You want me to fight this big ass guy? Ooh. No, that hurts. Damn! You still alive? Oh man, I forgot how much HP these fuckings hit. Holy shit! Okay, I shouldn't need to do parallax. I I'm, I'm I should have done parallax. No, don't do that. You bastards! You are dead. Those bastards. Bastard. Go away, tentacular. Yeah, I'm still trying to find this stupid fucking enemy. I know what they look like when I see them. And look at that up in the sky over there, eh? Look at that orange thing in the sky. What could that be, eh? It's important. I'll give that away. I hate you, game. Okay, when in doubt, Google. And I actually heard somebody say that 
south of the strand in the mid game you can run into sail serpents so what does that tell you well that tells me that uh, the fact that I'm using is giving me bad information but that's okay I mean as long as somebody else on the internet has the right answer it's all good But yeah, apparently these sail serpents are around this area somewhere. Not in the north, because I've been actually sailing around the northern area now for about 20 minutes, and I not once ran into a fucking sail serpent. Not once. So they have to be lying. Or just wrong. And I'm sick of running from enemies too, man. I never run the first time. Never. I always have to sit here and wait for these assholes to fucking attack me. This is turning out to be an annoying fucking recording session because nothing is happening the way I want it to. And it all has to, it all has to do with old RPG mechanic problems. Not being able to see what the fuck you're attacking or what the fuck is attacking you. So you're at the mercy of the fucking random number generator. There we go. This is the enemy I'm looking for. See, if I hadn't have actually looked up where these guys were, I would have found these guys sooner. Which fucking pisses me off. Now, if I can just get lucky, I, I just probably want one falcon knife earring for now. I'll probably get more of them later for Eric. I just want one more for right now. Perfect. Perfect! There we go. That's what I needed. Yeah, the nobleman's knife is nice. But I'd rather have this. And just to show you guys that I'm not fucking crazy, look at this. Sail Serpent Dragon North. North! It appears in the north, apparently. Well, I have to say that is uh, completely false. That is not true. One iota. Because I fucking sailed around there for damn near 20 minutes and I didn't find shit. And also, Inland Sea, let's look at this uh, thing here. Now that you have access to the Salty Stallion, you can sail directly to the Zardust region. You might as well take care of a couple things first. If you try to go through the Sea Gate to the Open Sea, Rab will remind you that you need to go to Zardust first. That's false. What does he mean by that? Does he mean, uh, like if you do the party talk, Rab will remind you? Because that's true. But he doesn't actually stop you and say you need to go to Zardras first, which is what this fucking sentence right here kind of implies, right? Sort of? I don't know. But, whatever. This, this fucking fact is misleading. It's got bad and wrong information. And this is like the best fucking fact for this game on GameFAQs recently. Yeah, this is like the fucking, you know, this one has the most data. Maybe I should start using one of these. Maybe these are better. I don't know, man. But it's fucking annoying as hell. Alright, well anyways, let's, uh... Yeah, let's make our way to freaking um... Gondolia, finally. Fuck, man. That took way longer than I wanted it to. All because some... All because the fucking fact I was using gave me the wrong information. Again, that pisses me off. So yeah, please, if you know something for sure about this game, drop it in the comments section, man. Help me out here, because GameFAQs isn't. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, so this guy's talking about the huge star. 
It's in the sky. That's actually Erdman's lantern. Why is it coming closer and closer towards the planet? Is it like Meteor from Final Fantasy VII? Kind of is in a way, isn't it? That's what it reminds me of. Alright, so yeah, here's the merchant guy, or one of the merchant guys. And it's the armor of Sir Hendrik. A hundred thousand gold! But you're gonna sell it to me for fifty-two hundred, fifty-two thousand? No, that's too much. It is way too much, my friend. But yeah, we're going to haggle the price down. I think you can haggle it down to like 5,000 or 5,200 or something like that. No, not for 50,000. <laughs> this is a fake, huh? No. Oh man, I'm good. And that literally made no difference whatsoever. So dark. And dreary as fuck. Come on, man, make it lower. Twenty thousand. Eh, let's try and see if we can go any even lower than that. Ten thousand, huh? Okay, whatever. Let's see what your brother's going to offer. So yeah, again, this is essentially a reference to Dragon Quest VI with Haggleton in that game. Yeah, I think this is the lowest you can go. It's 5,000. So there you go. Let's go ahead and buy it. Alright, so you get Hendrick's armor. Which is pretty cool armor. Uh, it changes Hendrick's appearance. It's not as good as Zombie Mail. Yeah, it gives a nice boost to defense and charm. And it looks cool. I mean, Hendrick looks great in his armor. But... It's no Zombie Mail. Zombie Mail has dark... Protection and fucking curse protection, so that easily is better. I mean, it's no comparison. But, but it is higher defense. 
Yeah, well, if you've been playing the Dragon Quest games for any length of time, you should realize that defense stat in these games does not matter that much. I mean, it certainly helps. I'm not going to say that it doesn't have any effect at all, but when it comes down to it, man, defense does not really even matter. Ethereal shield. Oh, fuck, man. Yeah, this is already better than that fucking... See, I made that dragon shield for him thinking that it, that would last a while. Shh. Ha! <laughs> it's already outclassed. By this ethereal shield. Yeah, that's 10% elemental protection. That's way better. Come on, man. That's way better than a fucking dragon shield that only has fire and ice. Nah, I will take the all across the board elemental protection over that any day. Man, this fucking town is empty. Say a huge iceberg of shiny glittering gold is floating. Near the, yeah, so we can't go to Snuffleheim. Or we can't go to the uh, Viking hideout because of the glittering gold. And we can't get to Arborea either because that way is also blocked off by gold. Fish people are here. Say hi. But I, what I'd like to know is how the fuck are they able to breathe? on land. I mean, come on, man. I guess the fishies in this world have lungs just like everybody else. They have lungs and fins. Kind of sounds like a Harry Potter villain, doesn't he? Alizarin, Slytherin, a Slithering. Although I don't think we need to have, I don't think we need to know Parcel Tongue to talk to this guy. I'm pretty sure he speaks English. Uh, yes, we can confirm that.
Actually, I have a question. At this point in the story, can we actually go to Sneffelheim and do the events there? Before going to Octagonia and Zwardrust and all that shit? Just curious. But yeah, we want to pick up this quest here. Yeah, this is the Sage of Stone quest, or... I think there's another quest where you can get another Sage of Stone, or maybe you just find it in a chest? I don't remember, but yeah, this is... Obviously a quest we want to do. Because the Sage of Stone in this game is... A fantastic thing to have. Well, it's fantastic in every, in every game, but... Well, most of the games. I'd have to say a Sage's Rock and Dragon Quest Eight is... <laughs> and that game is pretty worthless. Or at least it's worthless to me. Alright, so you get the Sage of Stone quest. And we're gonna need to actually go to Nautica for that one. So we're gonna have to beat Elizarin first. I think there's, yeah, there's another quest in this town somewhere, huh? And I know there's some quests I missed back at the, uh, the fucking, uh, what is it, the fucking academy? School academy? We'll pick them up later. Yeah, it's too bad we can't go to the Galapagos Desert at this point. Check out the equipment shop here. See what they got. Besides what I just bought before. Oh yeah, Minister's Miter. Yeah, this helps with instant death. Forgot about that. Yeah, I forgot about this too. The Papillion Mask. I think the fact also mentioned something about getting a recipe for this item. But they don't mention that you can buy it here in Gondolia for some fucking reason. So, yeah, I don't know. Ace, whatever. Uh, can I buy more than one? You're not gonna let me buy more than one at a time? I hate you. You're gonna make me buy one at a time, you fucking cunt. Why? Why, game? <laughs> Flowing dress. Or the water flying cloth. Eh. I wouldn't bother with it. It's not bad. Better in previous games. Man, I never checked out the weapon shop, did I? Let's 
check out what they got here. I think they have a pretty good... Yeah, they got this sword here. The Lord Sword. This is a plus 3% critical chance. Yeah, you know what, man? I'm picking it up. Obviously, I'll equip the Demon's Bane when I run into demons, but the Lord's Sword for pretty much everything else is going to be better. Because it's got a better critical uh, percentage. Yeah, look at that. 10% critical chance? Shit, man. That's fucking good. That's with all the, uh, that's with all the passives and stuff. Of course, you know, uh, if you're using skills like Unbridled Blade, that's not going to matter. But if you're using skills like Helichopter or, you know, just regular physical attacks, uh, yeah, this is a really good weapon, man. And the attack power in this game does not matter as much. Again, you can farm seeds. Uh, let's see. Now let's go this way and... Leave the town. I I think we gotta leave the town to actually add Gondolia to the to the zoom list. I think we got Gondolia C by docking our fucking ship. But to get Gondolia, I think you actually have to exit. Okay. Oh wait a minute. No, we can go to Galapagos. Can we? Oh, maybe... No, because later on in the... See, I never even tried to do this before while playing. Never even occurred to me that I... Maybe it's blocked off. But I'm going to check anyways while I'm going to get this campsite real quick. Fucking kissers, man. Get away from me! Yeah, I missed one of the cows, too, man. While I was exploring the first time. Yeah, I never got that um, notification that I found all the cows. I mean, I did it before in previous games, just not in this particular playthrough. And I think you can go to the Grotto de la Fonte to get an item for quests that I've can't remember. Oh yeah, it's worth its salt. Yeah, you can get 10 mithril ores if you care. I'll do that shit later. But the, the thing I definitely want to find out at this point is, can we go to Galapagos? Because I was under the impression that we couldn't go there at this point. Because later on in the story, there's actually an event that triggers, like, memory. Uh, basically, you get your memory back and you are able to zoom to Galapagos again. And one other location, I can't remember. Well, fuck me. I'll be damned. Unless it's blocked off here. No, don't look like it. Uh, yes.
But yeah, Galapolis. And I guess we can go to Hato too? Holy fuck, man. Hato's the other region. I th yeah, Hato's the other region I think that you remember eventually. It's like, oh yeah, you can zoom there now. Okay. Actually, in Galapagos, I just remembered something. The racetrack. Crimson Claws. Holy shit, I thought I was going to have to wait till later to do that. And yes, I'm going to fight this guy right here because... Uh, if we mount this guy, I think we get like a fucking trophy or some shit for it. There we go. Go to sleep. I think these headless horsemen are actually demons. Oh well. Are the demons or they're undead? Actually, they might be undead. Never mind. Mount Olympian. So yeah, we can ride this guy, huh? That's pretty cool. Except I don't think we can actually run over enemies with it. And I did not... Or maybe you can. I did not want to fight you. I wanted to run over you. Let me run, man. I never run the first time in this game. It never happens. Running is fucking useless in this game. Watch. I bet you anything. Three times the charm. I bet you it'll be successful this time. Because that's how it always happens. Wait, what? What do you know about the Lord of Shadows? You're supposed to have your memory gone, remember? Hmm. So the rumors were true. Erdwin's lantern descends towards Galopolis. <sighs> and they say it began when Yggdrasil fell and darkness covered the land. But why? What is happening to our world? Edwin's lantern, eh? Some weird shit, man. Back in Dundrasil, we had a legend that after Edwin defeated the Dark One, he ascended to the skies as a star, 
so he can watch over Erdria for all eternity. That was one of Eleanor's favorite stories. And I always thought it was just that, a story. But now I'm not so sure. <laughs> If the Lord of Shadows' rise caused Erdwin's lantern to descend... Are you even listening, laddie? Oh, charming. Well, I can share my musings with you again if you'd like. Uh, no, it won't be you heard necessary. heard everything you needed to hear, did you? All right, then. Well, I suppose this is no time to be standing around pontificating. The lantern's on course to crash straight into this fair kingdom. We'd best go and see what the Sultan thinks of all this, eh? Yeah, so like... We can do this, these events now. Like, really early. <laughs> I didn't even know you could do this shit. I don't know, I, I... Yeah, I don't... Is If you come back here with more party members later on, is there like extra dialogue or anything? I mean, does it really even matter? Because I might... Well, no, I, I wanted to come here anyways, because again, I want to I wanna fucking... I want to race. I probably won't talk to the Sultan. But yeah, I think I'm going to start the next video out by uh, doing the races here in Galapolis, because I want them Crimson Claws, man. Second best claws in the game. Uh, you can get them from a monster later on, but it's going to be quite a while. So, so yeah. Anyways, um, see you next time. Bye-bye. Feel free to give me any tips, uh, let me know what else I can do, like, really early. Because I feel like I'm, like, really, really sequence breaking right now.